Good morning, guys. We are back. We're in Broome, baby. So we're just on a stakeout here. I've got my coffee and my donuts. Just an old school stakeout. We're waiting for the crocodile to come in and catch him in the act of catching a little fruit bat in his mouth. Don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll have we'll have a look and we'll, we'll wait out and see. I'm giving it a good 30 minute stakeout, and um, if it doesn't come, we'll move on. But yeah, I feel like a police officer today, which is good. This episode, we're going to explore the Broom Town Centre. So the main attractions that we're going to have a look at is Matzo's Brewery, number one. Stairway to the Ma Moon. Yeah. Stairway to the Moon. Stairway to the Moon, the Market, Roebuck Bay, Willy Creek. Cable Pearl Beach. Farm. How did we forget about oh, Cable yeah, Beach? Oh yeah, Cable Beach and the Camels. That's probably the biggest one, I reckon. <laughs> Willy Creek, did you just say that? Yep. To we know gotta anymore. start planning this better. <laughs> Say Matzo's? Yep. That's going to be today's episode, guys. We're going to show you literally everything you can do around Broome. Look how rough we look. We need a shower. We're staying at the Surf Life Saving Club. It's a little free camp right in town there. They're just, the Shire's been nice enough to open it up to people. Maximum three day stay. We've got to be full self sufficient. Absolutely zero dollars and zero cents. It's pretty good, but. Saying that, it is really congested if you don't like people mm -hmm. and people parking next to your caravan with their car, literally in the car space next to you. Don't go there. Pissed me off last night, but that's alright, I'm over mm -hmm. it now. I was like, we're in a car park, what do you expect? <laughs> anyway, there was a croc the other day that closed Cable Beach, so we've got to look out for crocs. And um, we're just going to continue the stakeout, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video. It should be a ripper. Oh my god, I just spotted two Burks outside and Keelan's freaking gone to pick them up. <laughs> See if they his size. This is proper homelessness. <laughs> So the other night we went and had a look at the staircase to the moon. We'll drop that them clips in now. It's pretty impressive. Heaps of people though, so be prepared for that. But you can normally see it around the town beach side of Broome. You won't see it on the cable beach side due to the moon not coming up on that side. I'll drop them <laughs> clips in now. All right, so we're down at the boat ramp, and this is over the town side as well, out the back of the wharf. We're just having a look at the dinosaur footprint that's here. So we'll show you guys that. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty huge, and yeah, it's an actual dinosaur footprint. I don't know who confirmed it, but it is a dinosaur footprint. So that is a dinosaur footprint, my friends. Just looks like an ordinary rock mark, mark but yep, it's a dinosaur footprint. Willie Creek Pearl Farm to have a little look. We're not going to do a tour because they're really expensive so we're just going to go in and get a coffee, a little stingy as we are, and have a little look around so we'll show you Willie Creek. It's pretty wet, the Willie. Fair bit of water in it at the moment. We saw a croc uh, yesterday at Bard Creek so maybe we'll see a croc here we're hoping. Fingers crossed anyway. We just went into Willie Creek, it's really pretty. We saw one of the resident crocodiles having a little sunbake on the other side of Willie Creek. The girl that was working in there, she like told us a lot of information about pearls and stuff and why saltwater pearls are more expensive than the mm, what, freshwater pearls. Yeah, the imports. So the saltwater pearls, they take two years just to form one pearl and there's a 5% chance that it's actually gonna be a good pearl. Like a lot of them come out with 
Im impurities? Yeah, impurities, but obviously they narrow down their um, margin for error and yeah. simultaneously grow hundreds and hundreds <clears throat> and hundreds, so they've got quite a high rate of production. Yeah, but so. We got the drone up. How good was that crocodile on the bank that I filmed? That was yeah. sick, that footage and them photos I got. But, but we messed up and we didn't see the little no drone zone <laughs> sign and when then we were driving in. Yeah, and then the helicopter so, came in. Luckily, old mate, very responsible. He didn't come over and let us know that we'd miss the sign, but he went and dubbed on us and let management come and tell us. So thanks for that. Cheers. Dob dobbers, dobbers, kiss robbers, mate. <laughs> Couldn't just come and talk to us yourself, but that's okay. Some people get a bit nervous about being a dobber. Mm, but yeah, we stuffed up. Got told off for the first time ever about a drone. So that's all right though. He was the guy that came up and told us off. Was like, oh, he was really like, nice. Yeah. He was a bit off it, but I was like, I didn't see the sign. Like. When you're towing a caravan through a like tight gate, you're not looking at the signs. You're looking at the caravan. You're looking at the car, making sure it's not going to hit. Like, this, reading a sign is like the last thing that's on your mind. Everyone that drives a caravan through tight spaces knows that. But yeah, anyway, it's not my excuse. That. But what do you do? I got it in straight away because the helicopter was coming in. He gave us a bit of a blast, but I reckon it was worth it for that that crop footage. Eh? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We got our ring busted open. <laughs> This is a little beach called Riddle Beach. Pretty sure that's it. Riddle. Riddle Beach, sorry. We came here the other day with Sarah's mum and Jack, um, Sarah's little brother. It's a pretty specky little beach. We're probably on the wrong tide though. It's fully low and out, so it's not that inviting looking in the ocean, but this red rock and the sand looks amazing, eh? Absolutely stunning day. It's only nine o'clock and it's already hot as buggery, so I sort of want to try to go for a swim. But have a look at this joint. You know you're in Broome when you see the rock as red as that.
we are heading out to Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park. We're very excited. We've just had a day full of jobs. Killen put the side steps and the scrub bars on. Um, and I've been writing some vlogs all morning. So it's been a bit of a boring morning, but now it should be pretty exciting seeing the crocodiles. Hopefully we see some big salties. Actually, I'm sure we'll see some big salties. <laughs> the scrub bars and side steps come up an absolute treat. They've come black though, and I've obviously colour coded my bull bar, so it looks a little bit funny. But when I get back to Perth, I'll definitely be putting some uh, graphite colour on these side steps and scrubbies. But for now, it still doesn't stand out like dog's nuts, but I can definitely tell, and it definitely annoys me, so I'll definitely be getting that fixed. But um, they've come up really good, and I'm really happy with them. Hmm. So, yeah, enjoy the crock park, guys. We will. Have you ever been swallowed by a croc? I have. That's as close as you'll ever want to get to a croc. Look at this. Good boy. Alfred. This is Alfred. No, 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 Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's not Jesus. <laughs> He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> Nobody says Allah, Buddha. It's always Jesus that cops it. What's wrong with you, Mike? Can you and your business call go outside, please? Unless we get 10%. He's the boss of the whole 70. And he lives in that little knee deep shallow day pond with two girlfriends. <laughs> That's one girlfriend there. The other girlfriend's somewhere in the water. The way it worked, we end up with 60 boys and 10 girls. So of course the trouble started. Any fighting in here can guarantee it's one of the girls who walk past. Their testosterone goes through the roof like a bunch of 20 year olds at the divers. They don't know how to control themselves and it fights all over. So, the big guy there, he's the same age as these, but he's that one bigger, he's dominant. So he's got two girlfriends and he keeps them for himself over there. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> that jaw power on these is around about 3,000 pounds per square inch. So, uh, there's still one and a half Toyotas landing on your leg, but compared to the big crop we're going to do shortly, he's only halfway. These are only babies. Here's a little girl here. Not the equivalent. Has a drink every day. Nice try. What a shocking neck. And uh, that's how you tell it's a female. <laughs> Bloody brain did. <laughs> <laughs> Here before, and I didn't have my stick. So that fish, they don't chew food. All he's doing is making it a bit smaller, tenderising it. And all fish, especially the big fish, they'll eat head first. I should have given him that tail first to show you. It, uh, you'll see him throw it around. Every day I open this park, and always get experts come in. <laughs> and the experts are always the ones that tell me if any of you got. Uh, done by a crocodile, apparently all you're supposed to do is poke them in the eyes. So the experts say. So it's 2021 now. To get done by a crocodile in 2021, you deserve it. You are an idiot. There's 20 signs on every road, every track, every, every road map, every radio station's got crocodile. But you decide that you've had a six pack and you're better than that. Well, good on you but I'm sick of idiots. So he's got you by the leg, and remember what everybody said, poke him in the eye. So we'll see how much of a reaction we're gonna get. Not much reaction there. 
They get stuck into the other one as well. Nothing gonna happen. So best you start knocking them about a bit. Good luck with that too. <laughs> Everything from there forward on a crocodile is meant for damage. It's meant to kill things. 60 million years he's been around. Everything in the bush he attacks has either got the big tusks of a, of a, a tusk of a pig, big horns of a cow, you know, something that's going to injure him. And the eyes are the most important thing he's got. So if anything goes near a crocodile eye, he automatically sucks them right back here, right out the back of harm's way. So you're not going to poke him in the eye. And you, you know, that head is four times denser than a human bone. That's meant to run into things at 30 to 40 kilometres an hour. During the mating season, in another couple of months, all these males that are together, they do what we call clash heads. And each crocodile will sit next to the other one and they will smash heads. Each one's going 30 to 40 kilometres an hour. That's up to 80 kilometres an hour impact. And they'll do that for six hours a day, seven days a week for two months. And you think you're gonna go, you know, stop it, stop it. <laughs> not gonna work, not gonna work at all. The only thing you can hope for a big croc like him it's all going to be over pretty quick for you. Hopefully you'll be in two pieces and uh, it's only a bit of time. But the reason they attack people, like I've said before, if he's got eight wives, 640 kids, you should be praising him. He's the father of the year. And what were you doing thinking that you could swim in that water hole with him? So don't underestimate a crocodile. All he's doing is being a good dad. He doesn't wake up in the morning and think, right, I'm going to grab that guy at the Roebuck Caravan Park and I'm going to do this. But if you're the one doing bombies in the deep end stealing my buddy Barramundi up the river here in summer, he's not going to be too happy either. So uh, that's where all the accidents happen. So you can't go blaming anybody. You pass the signs. You can't go off the bitumen here without seeing a big 10 foot crocodile sign. So if you get eaten halfway up the coast, don't go blaming somebody they didn't put a sign on the beach. You've already passed 10 signs on the way up. There was a croc here that was from Willy Creek. So the croc that you saw earlier on in the episode was from Willy Creek. And the reason why that croc was at Willy Creek is because they've taken the big bull croc out of there. The Malcolm Douglas Park didn't want to do it. So Perth brought a marksman like a shooter with a rifle up, which they didn't know what they were doing shooting crocs. Normally they shoot people. They shot the croc, missed him to kill for a kill shot, hit him in the eye. And then Malcolm Douglas then had to go rescue the croc that they didn't want to take out because he was a big dominant croc that would keep all the other crocs out. So now that croc's here and now there's so many crocs at Willy Creek. So the government sort of stuffed it up, I guess, and didn't listen to the experts here. And all of a sudden they've got a croc infestation. So. There we have it guys that's cable beach and the croc park done we talked to fraser the tour guide after the tour he's such an interesting guy we spoke about malcolm what he was like as a bloke off the tv screen as well as some of the relationships he had with other australian icons such as steve Irwin and stuff had some pretty interesting insights i won't go into too much more detail but to tell you the truth i learned a lot from the bloke and it was the best 35 bucks we've probably ever spent what do you reckon about it yeah it was good it was cool to see a crocodile up close and closer than I ever want to be. <laughs> yeah, and they're not just little crocs. They're we thought huge. we thought the ones at the start were big, and then he brought out the really big ones, and they were insanely big. So, anyway, you wouldn't guess what road we're on now. We're on the bloody Gib. So, <laughs> the next episode's all going to be about the Gib River. We're definitely going to break it up into a few videos. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, get ten percent off iTech World with our code SKT10. You're supporting the channel if you buy something, and if you want to join our Patreon, we'll put the link in just after this. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.